Good morning, folks. We'll be taking a look at the sun, an earthquake, and four interesting papers on topics familiar to the observers. One on space radiation, two on pre-earthquake electromagnetic signals, and one on the magnetic field impact to genetic information. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star and we find the sun went back to quiet. After the M-class solar flare we showed yesterday, the activity levels dropped back down with only minor pops at some of the active regions no significant CMEs. Last night we shared the networking platform solarkillshot.org and despite what I said there were about a thousand questions about why I did things the way they were so I'll say it again. The platform is not mine. I didn't make it. It was made by and controlled by another observer and a couple thousand of you asked for specifically that program. It is well done and useful for exactly what it's designed for. On to the earthquakes, where the top event of the day struck the transition zone of the mantle, 6.2 very deep below the surface at more than 550 kilometers down. This luckily minimized surface shaking. First up in the articles today is one on space radiation. It's a behemoth of a paper, and it describes the various types of space radiation both from the sun and galactic cosmic rays and how those events impact the earth. Link is below. We've also got two papers on pre-earthquake signals. As we've said many times before, there are enough of these now, hundreds of them, that hopefully the electromagnetic signals in the atmosphere will be able to be monitored in the near future and warn of imminent seismic activity. These studies have hit every location in the world and they all pretty much say the same thing. Atmospheric and geomagnetic conditions drastically change before an earthquake. Last but not least, they found a fascinating connection between inherited traits and geomagnetic field conditions. For everyone who has wondered about changes in genetics based on the ongoing magnetic pole shift and solar micronova, it looks like it's more than just the radiation mutation potential of the event. Our DNA is selectively inherited based on the magnetic field. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.